What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome back to The Film Room presented by Chickies and Pete's. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to continue our look at the 2020 rookie class for this Philadelphia Eagles football team. And we're going to go now with Quez Watkins, who the Eagles drafted on day three out of Southern Miss University. And this guy is a speedster, just over six foot, 185 pounds, a little bit on the long lean side, but almost 33 inch arms. So he's got the ability to go up and attack the football, had one of the better athletic workouts at the combine, not just with his 4 3 3, but he also jumped out of the gym as well. The shuttles weren't great, but he showed that straight line explosiveness, both in the 40 and with his jumps. And you see that on film in terms of how he was used in that Southern Miss offense. And we're going to take a look right here. Again, this isn't going to be a straight highlight tape, but just some of the plays that I liked as I was studying Quez Watkins on film. And one of the things I liked was that they like to line him up inside the hash marks, not always in the slot, but when you line him up, that close to the formation, the defensive secondary, these guys are all worried because he's got a lot of green grass on the outside, and obviously he's got the ability to attack inside as well. So it's not like he's lined up out here where you can kind of pin him to the sideline and you know use the lack of space to your advantage. They did a lot with him, what's called a tight split, where he's lined up on the hash marks or just inside the hash marks. And you're going to see here that he's going to be running just basically a skinny post right down the field, and that is going to allow him just really to, to stretch this defense, take the top off, and get downfield and make a big play. Again, there's Quez Watkins. Here he comes off the ball. You could see the straight line speed right away. And then what I love, too, is you see him attack the football. I call it climbing the ladder, where he's going to go up and challenge this ball, attack it at its highest point, not let that defensive back even attempt to make a play on it. So often, with a lot of deep threats, you'll see that they'll let the ball fall into them and that allows the defensive back an extra split second to try and get their hands in there and try and rake their hands through the catch point and try and make a play that's not going to be the case with Quez Watkins again as you can see here watch him go up attack the football in the air we're going to see it on the very next play his very next target in that game came on a play that was kind of similar this time though he's lined up at the top of the screen there he is at the very top and he's just going to be running this time just a little fade where he's just going to attack vertically down the sideline and again you're going to see him what challenge the football attack it in the air climb the ladder and make the play over the defensive back Again, a really good vertical jumper. You see that leaping ability time and time again on film. Look at him go up and over the defender. He's got that basketball background. You can see him just go play above the rim. Not the biggest, strongest kid, but again, six foot, 33 inch arms. That's good length. He's got the ability to go up and make this play. We'll see it from the end zone angle here. As again, you just see the physical ability from Quez Watkins. And I just love that mentality, that my ball mentality with the ball in the air. Now, we talked a lot about Jalen Rager and John Hightower, their speed, right? And how they use that speed to mess with defenders, how they used to get their hips flipped, get the corners hips flipped one way, and then they would break opposite. That's one of the, the keys to route running is get the defensive back to move the opposite way with which you're planning on going. That's how you can try and create separation. Even if it's just a tiny sliver, it just gives you a little bit more room to be able to operate and creates a throwing window for the quarterback. It keeps the timing of the play. It's all very, very important to the entire construct of the play. So what you're going to see here with Quez Watkins is a really good example of that. Now, here he is at the bottom of the screen. The corner starts pressed. I've got it a little bit played up. He's just starting to bail out now. So you see the corner. He's got his back to the sideline. He's going to play off the line of scrimmage here. Again, you've got to respect that 4-3-3 speed from the guy on the other side, from Quez Watkins, right? So off the snap of the ball, I want you to watch Quez Watkins attack upfield, really sell as if he's going to go vertical. Watch what happens to the corner. He immediately flips his hips because if you notice, there's going to be a little bit of a head fake here from Quez Watkins. It's just a very subtle move where he's going to sell like he's going to be releasing outside and attacking down the field. All that does is get the corner to flip his hips. It doesn't take much, but he's got to respect that speed, that ability to work vertically. And you can kind of just see the change in his path. It's not a straight line downfield. You're going to see that he's going to try and attack this a little bit to the outside, and that's going to get that corner to flip his hips. This is what is called holding a strong vertical step because all he's doing is running a slant route. All right, so let's say he comes off the ball, and he comes off slow, and his pads are facing inside, and his eyes are looking inside, and he just kind of rounds this out. 
This corner is going to jump this route, and if he doesn't make an interception, he's going to get the ball on the ground. He's going to play through the catch point. If they, maybe it's a two-yard gain at best. But since Quez Watkins holds that vertical stem, he gets hard up onto the toes of the corner. That allows the corner to say, man, like he might be attacking deep. I better make sure I'm able to turn and run with him because I don't want to get beat over the top. No corner wants to get dusted for a 77-yard touchdown like you, what you're going to see here. So the corner is going to come off the ball. Once Quez sells that vertical stem right there, he's going to flip his hips. Now, this is, the ball's already in the air. This is going to be a quick slant route. Now I want you to see how special Quez Watkins is with the ball in his hands, where that 4-3-3 speed really comes into play. All he's going to do is, boom, put his foot in the ground, find green grass. He's an experienced punt returner. He's got the ability to run away from everybody on the field, and that's what he does here. 72 yards to the house. Huge, huge play for that Southern Miss offense. This is against North Texas uh, last September, and he's just going to, again, put his foot in the ground, drop step, get downhill, and run away from everybody. You love seeing that kind of speed. That's going to be big-time playmaking ability in the NFL. Now, we're going to go to another game here, this time against UAB. Here he is at the bottom of your screen, all right? So there's Quez Watkins matched up on a press corner, and he's just going to be attacking downfield on another fade route. And this is going to be another example of just him attacking the football in the air, going up and fighting for the football in a contested situation, winning a jump ball. And as we talked about with Jalen Rieger, is he going to be a consistent guy in doing this? Not necessarily, but you love the mentality, what I've always called a my ball mentality with the ball in the air. Watch him go up with one hand on the DB because the DB is fighting to maintain that relationship, stay hip to hip with Quez Watkins. He's going to go up with one hand on the defensive back, and then release last second, get both feet down in bounds, and get this in for a touchdown. Just an awesome catch by Quez Watkins. I think we'll get a look at this from the end zone angle as well. Again, when you've got that kind of speed, that's good. That can take you a certain amount, but you love the ability to play the ball in the air, whether that's tracking it over your shoulder. Think of Deshaun Jackson, how good he is at tracking those balls down down the field or attacking it, being able to have the advantage against the defensive back in those one-on-one -on -one situations. He's got the leaping ability. He's got the length. When you've got the ability to finish, now you're cooking with gas. And look, that ability to go up and make those catches in traffic, that was a consistent trait that I saw from Quez Watkins on his film from Southern Miss. We're going to see it again here. This is going to be a play against Louisiana Tech. Again, this is Quez Watkins right here at the bottom of the screen. A lot of his time was spent to the far right of the formation. They moved him around a little bit, but most of his routes came from one side of the field. A little bit of a limited route tree from Quez Watkins. That will certainly be an area that he will have to improve and just try and learn the full route tree upon entering the NFL. But you've got that ability to work vertically and do things like this. Again, we're cooking with gas. So this is going to be Quez Watkins once again working downhill or downfield on a fade. Once again, he's going to go up and make this catch into double coverage this time because they've got a safety over the top. And again, you just see the ability to make these big plays. This is going to be cover two. So you've got a safety here in the back end of the field. You've got the corner playing man-to-man -man technique. So it's cover two man. He's going to be working downfield. The safety is going to come over this quarterback still has the trust in Quez Watkins that, you know what, I feel like you're still able to go up and make this play. Go help me out. Go give me a 27-yard reception downfield. Again, that ball's in the air. That's my ball. I'm going to go up. I'm going to make this play. I'm going to finish. And to me, like, that is such an important trait for a receiver. If you're going to play that way, if you're going to be, you know, a bigger, longer guy, I need you to have that mentality in the air. And I love seeing that competitive nature from all receivers, no matter how they're built. Now, one thing I really like from receivers, especially those vertical threats like Quez Watkins, is what I call the ability to hold the red line. And we, we talked about this back in our film room breakdown of Jalen Rager. What is the red line? Well, you'll see it a lot on practice fields, both in the NFL and in college. And you won't see it, obviously, in the game. But all it is, is it's a line, imaginary line, that's about halfway between the numbers and the sidelines. So you only see a little bit of it here. If we were going to draw it up at the top, the line would be, again, kind of like halfway. That's terrible drawing on my part, but halfway between the numbers and the sideline. And now the goal for these receivers is you want to be able to hold that red line. If you're working vertical, you want to run along that track. And the reason why is that if the quarterback is throwing a vertical route, a deep ball down the field, if you are too far outside that landmark, if you are too far outside that line, you have nowhere to be able to fit this ball. It's a very tight squeeze for the quarterback. But if you are on that red line, 
Well, now you've got a little bit more space outside that throwing lane to be able to drop that ball. It widens the bucket for the quarterback to be able to drop it in. So you like the receivers that if they're able to get on top of this corner as quickly as possible. So when you've got a speed guy, again, 4-3-3, those explosive traits to get on top of a corner quickly, you don't want to just see him run to the sideline and just get downfield like a, a gunner on special teams. You don't want to see that. You want to see them hold that red line. They call it stacking. Stack the defensive back. So we'll just let this play out, and I want you to see how it plays. I'm going to go slow-mo so you can kind of see it. He attacks vertically, but he's going to get on top of that DB. He's not trying to run away from him. He's trying to hold him on his backside because now this corner, not only does the quarterback have a wider box to be able to drop this throw in. But now the only way this corner is making this play is if he goes through him and draw a flag, right? If he you know, basically holds uh, Quez Watkins and draws a penalty flag, or he's got to make a ridiculous play where he's got to jump up and over without drawing a penalty. So you're either you're make, asking a corner to make a really, really difficult play here if you're able to hold your technique and hold that red line. Now, this corner does a nice job. He's able to maintain that relationship, stays hip to hip, and Quez Watkins is unable to come up with the play. He tried to pull it in with one hand. So this was an incompletion. But the reason why I put it on there is, one, you see the speed. And I'm just going to play at full speed now. You, you see the speed and you see the ability to hold the red line, which, again, for those receivers, so, so important. Again, so this was going to go in, down as an incompletion. But I liked a couple of the things we saw there from Quez Watkins because just having speed, just being able to line up and run 4-3-3, that's not enough. You need to be able to do a lot of the little things to play receiver as well. Now, this is going to be a next play that we're going to cover. Same game against UTSA, Texas, uh, San Antonio, where he's going to take a slant route and go to the house. This is going to be a 77-yard touchdown on a catch and run for Quez Watkins. Where you're going to see that speed, that ability to make a big play in the open field. And really, Southern Miss kind of catches UTSA here because they're going to come out and you can kind of see there's a behind my reverse button here, there's a safety who's lined up almost like he's going to play as a too high look. So that there might be playing cover two, right, with two high safeties. But just before the snap of the ball, those safeties are going to rotate. And that safety over here on that side of the screen, he's going to get into center field. Now, the problem for UTSA in this situation is that Quez Watkins is just going to run this quick slant into the middle of the field. That safety is going to be late to kind of react and break down and put himself in position to make this tackle. He takes a bad angle to the catch. And now Quez Watkins, that's the beauty of having this kind of speed, is that if you take a bad angle, if you have a bad step, anything that's going to throw you off just a second, he's got the speed to make you pay. And he's going to catch this on the run, split the two safeties, and then run away from every blue jersey on that football field. Takes this, again, to the house, 77 yards. Love the speed, and that's something we're going to see on this very next play as well. This one is going to be against Tulane. Here is Quez Watkins. He's at the top of the screen. He's the second receiver. He is the guy who is stacked behind that number one receiver at the top. All right, so what you're going to see here from the defense is that it's going to be an all-out blitz. You're going to be seeing all these guys all take off for the quarterback. Quez Watkins is running just a simple shallow cross, Quarterback does a nice job of recognizing that he is his hot route, that he is under pressure. He's got to get the ball out as quickly as possible. So we're going to let this play in slow motion. He sees that he's got a whole bunch of blue jerseys coming at him. Who's his hot route? Quez Watkins underneath on a shallow. Now, they burn the blitz very, very well here because, again, when you blitz, you're taking away bodies and coverage. And when you take away bodies and coverage and the ball goes to a speed receiver – well, there's a lot less defenders to try and be able to get that speed receiver to the ground. This is a perfect storm for Southern Miss here because the ball's going to go to Quez Watkins. I'm just going to let this play full speed. You could see the Jets on this kid. Again, not contested. He's not having to make anybody miss here. You wouldn't say, oh, man, that's the most impressive touchdown that we're ever going to see. But you just see the speed in the open field and just the value of having a speed guy like that, especially in a college game where things are a little bit more wide open. Huge play for Quez Watkins. Now, one of the things we haven't quite seen yet on this film is his ability to track a deep ball over his shoulder, right? We saw that one incompletion where he had to look, kind of look it in and it fell incomplete right away. He went up with the one hand. He held the red line and you saw the speed, but you didn't see the finish. Here was the first one that I tagged that you can kind of see that ability to track the ball over his shoulder. There's Quez Watkins at the top of your screen, and he's going to be running basically an over route where he's going to attack the middle of the field vertically, and it's going to be a huge completion, 42 yards for the Southern Miss offense. Now, 
I want you to see it's going to be a little bit of a switch release. So both receivers are going to kind of crisscross here. That's going to create a little bit of traffic there for the defense to be able to follow through. Here comes Quez to the middle of the field. And what I love here, watch him how he has to kind of change his trajectory just a little bit, right? That just shows the ability to kind of track this deep ball because his initial track is kind of taking him over this way. But he hits right around here and he has to break this off. And you're going to see just the change in trajectory here is him following that deep ball from the quarterback. And I'll just kind of let this play slow motion. Again, he's going to avoid the defense, gets his eyes back. Here he is now, changes the trajectory of his route, follows the football, tracks it in over his shoulder, looks it in through his eyelids, and is able to finish 42 yards in a first down. And we're going to see the same exact trait here on the last play that we're going to break down. And again, this is in the Tulsa game, in the bowl game. You're going to see him here, again, work vertically down the field. And what I like is you're going to see the ability to track the ball over the shoulder. Here he is. He's going to beat that press corner. He's going to run right by him, hold that red line best he can. He was already lined up outside the or inside the number, so he had a little bit of an advantage. And I just love that he's able to track this over the shoulder and make the play. I'm going to play it fast motion. This is full speed here. Again, eyes back to the football, track it through the eyelids, late hands too. What does late hands mean? Basically, if you're a corner and you're watching the hands of the receiver, the receiver's not going to make the catch unless he throws his hands up, right? So if you throw your hands up to catch this ball a little early, then you're tipping the DB off. He either can look back and try and find the football or he can time his hands up and rake his hands through the catch point. So if you're a receiver, you want to be able to show those hands late. Don't flash them up early. You want to be able to flash them up right before the ball gets there. So with Quez Watkins, again, you're going to see speed early, hold the red line, give the quarterback plenty of room to drop this outside along the sideline, late hands after tracking the football, both feet inbounds, sustained through contact, first down, 33 yards. And that was a third down conversion. Big play for Quez Watkins. So what have we seen from Quez Watkins? We've seen a six foot, 185 pound receiver with long arms who will go up and attack the football. He's got 433 speed. He's got to get a little bit better as a route runner, a little bit of a limited route tree, right? At 185 pounds, you want to see him get a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, but he showed that ability to make big plays, both down the field as a vertical weapon and in the screen game or the, the quick game with his ability to create something out of nothing. A former punt returner who can make some plays with the ball in his hands, especially when he's put in space. And I love his ability to go up and attack the football, showed some flashes of being able to track it as well. Late round pick, so obviously some things to improve on, but a lot of good things that we saw on film as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown of Quez Watkins. Excited to see him take the field for training camp for more breakdowns just like this on the Eagles rookie class. Tune in next time on the Film Room presented by Chickies and Pete's.